okay so let's jump to the discussion now this is the discussion for the test number 3 this is the discussion on the test number 3 that is we had case study right how was your experience like was it easy not so easy time main thing about case study is when it comes to uh, exam that is main thing is time management so the most important thing is time management yeah so the, the, is was that because of time or some other issue okay, yeah? was that because of understanding issue or time issue most likely it would be time issue because it wasn't very tricky okay ultimately it's a case study so it needs uh, many topics to be considered many topics to be covered properly and we as we already discussed yeah practice more, very very important as we had discussed during our lectures of the case study that what you should do be, should be doing is at least a case study or three case studies per week basically of every alternate day now so you can write one case study every day now why that much important should be given because first of all it is 120 marks you know where you know more and more practice that's the only way to master case study obviously there are some tricks and things how to mention it how to how to kind of organize in that particular structure that's all there but still to internalize that structure also you need what you need to have a lot of practice so ultimately it boils down to practice uh, practice with respect to having a proper format and things like that right so please uh, try to attempt at least you know one case study per day it won't take much time in fact if you practice more the time required to even read and attempt and everything will be lesser and lesser which will help you in a better way in examination so practice is the only way there is no book you know which you read uh, will help you to kind of get good marks in test uh, case studies there is nothing like that what is the only option that you have is just write it more and more time anyway so let's go one by one there are see uh, you can try previous year questions upsc previous year question is the you know best thing i can tell you when it comes to kind of answering and trying for answer and things like that so upsc last year previous year questions good enough so no need to worry about the questions per se because see point is it's not about that particular case what we are through case studies practice case studies what we are trying to do is uh, you know generally what happens people's perspective towards case studies is little problematic where what they think is uh, you know the case studies that might appear in the examination if somehow i get a chance to solve the same case study now so that it will be just a repetition in the exam prediction basically but aisa hota nahi hai. it won't happen like that okay so in order to have that prediction kind of thing people generally do more practice but that's wrong approach we do practice in such a way that any new case study also comes in examination you are in the position to write an answer for that that's the crux so for that previous year questions upsc has given is more than enough for you so that's the best way to practice for you also okay so let us go one by one number one the government is bringing certain changes in the labor laws let's understand the case you know what is the modus operandi uh, we have uh, discussed that in our case study lectures also that at least three times you have to read first time you have to read with a fast very fast kind of glance lay after that you have to read it with uh, thorough understanding with respect to answers and third time you'll be reading it when basically 
you will be proper perhaps in between writing the answers or in between uh, you are doing when you are doing your brainstorming so initial brainstorming is very important in uh, this thing in case study so because now it is 20 marks that means you have how much time around 40 minutes 14 minutes sorry 14 14 minutes so when you have 14 minutes means you can afford to give two to three minutes we have discussed all this but i'm just repeating because it's important so you have 14 minutes means you can give two to three minutes for brainstorming or rough work whatever you want to call it okay and rest of the 12 minutes 11 to 12 minutes to write the case study which is more than sufficient please try to understand and only thing is you need to have that much practice otherwise it won't happen that way so it's all about practice okay so initial two three minutes kya karna hai padna hai case study we have to read then when you read the case study what you have to do is understand that from the point of view of what questions have been asked. So let's read the case study. The government is bringing certain changes in labor laws, okay, which are being claimed by a section of media and academia as anti-labor. That's okay. That happens because some perspective is there that these are anti-labor. Now there is one person called Ramesh. Mr. Ramesh, a well-intentioned youth leader. Now, here you should not doubt that he is well intentioned because it is given. There might be an honest mistake on his part, but that doesn't make him make him somebody who is unethical, somebody who is ill intentioned for society. So, he is well intentioned, it's given. Get influenced by the arguments of the protesters and organizes a peaceful protest against perforated changes. So, obviously, you protest. Karta. Now, there have already been small scale recurrent protests causing inconvenience to the common people. So, already there have been small protests where people are having some problem because of that protest. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the protest organized by Ramesh goes out of his own control and becomes violent, resulting in damage to the public property. This happens like, you know, he is a well intentioned youth leader. So, he is a leader. So, obviously, there will be people. That will be following him and he organized that thing and what happens? People generally, uh, it results into, it goes out of his hand and creates problem for the public property. Further, the violence gets blown out of proportion as a result of sensationalized reporting by section of media leading to law and order situation in the city. So, this is basically the problem. What happened is this unfortunate thing or whatever you want to call it undesirable thing is this now now the administration is under immense pressure to take strict action and bring law and order under control okay the police also gets enraged now police is also enraged because it happens sometimes now that would be the part of the question also can being a being into the system being at the responsible position can you be, you know, is it ethical or affordable for you to be enraged? You are enraged means you don't have emotional intelligence, you lack emotional intelligence. So, enraged and decides to pick individuals and ensure exemplary punishment to them in order to send a message to the miscreants. Now, this is slightly overboard that police have gone. Okay. Now, the police take strict action against those who could be identified and located through videographic evidence. So, whatever evidence, everything that is all correct, but it is, you know, it's not police. Basically, it is not, a, not the police which has given an authority to punish anybody, but they are taking those things in their hand. Now, the administration has also claimed that all the activities of the miscreants would be investigated and will be dealt with strictly in case any in case any illegally illeg illegality is found, Ramesh also gets included in the list and picked up by the police. Here is a typo error. Police ka 
पुलिस पूरा टाइप नहीं हुआ पुलिस ओके सो यहां तक ठीक है रमेश को उन्होंने पिक कर दिया ना वॉट हैपन्स रमेश हाउस वॉज इलीगली कंस्ट्रक्टेड एंड हैड नॉट येट रिसीव प्रॉपर परमिशन बिकेम एन इजी टारगेट फॉर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन Now here suddenly administration comes into picture means administration and police having some kind of understanding. Okay. So on the notice by police, the local administration demolishes the house. An example of the swift and tough action. Now here problem. The what is the ethical problem here? The punishment is given connecting two different behaviors. so basically uh, lack of emotional intelligence from part of the police now rationality also this comes as a big shock to ramesh and his family members many other participants of the protest also received similar response from the administration now there is a widespread condemnation condemnation of the demolition action obviously there is a lot of voice against it demolition there is a widespread condemnation of the demolition action carried out by the administration there are also some voices of approval to the action too so some people are substantial number of people are in uh, kind of agreement also to this particular action now why in your opinion question is why in in your opinion in your opinion does the administration resort to such action first of all administration action is action is uh, cannot be ethically justified now why do such actions get acceptance in the society because as we said there is some approval voices of approval also happening so why do such actions get acceptance in society this is the question now ethically analyze this uh, actions of both ramesh and the administration whose actions do you agree with and why okay so the question is seen that you know very similar to what has happened and for sure would have been would have happened to many uh, officers there perhaps they are required to but here now what you are doing you are kind of commenting on this from outside okay and evaluating these actions ethically now whenever answer is to be written you know already there has to be some structure what is the structure first always talk about the case okay very briefly but you please mention about the case then then jump to question a whatever it is now in this case it is reason behind the administration action use this subheading reason behind administration actions now this structure is very important for you to guide in the right direction okay then in the same a okay same uh, a there is another question that is talking about okay why acceptance or reasons behind acceptance another subheading theek okay. hai then ethically analyze the okay b is ethical analysis now this is exactly what your answer will look like by the way these are the subheadings ethical analysis so in ethical analysis you talk about administration action then comes ramesh's action these are subheadings now once you understand subheadings then automatically first of all you will be able to cover all the topic that has been asked to you okay and also what happens you will be able to 
kind of uh, guide yourself your answer so that it it is it falls under the particular word limit try and also tries to cover all the possible topics okay we'll do one thing we'll I, i'll put it in the format of pages only so that it will be further more easy for you to understand we had done this during our this thing also uh, case study preparation also so 20 mark means generally you will have four pages to fill generally five pages but four pages as in from start uh, because most of the time what happens case study itself is still here so now what do you do is you write the case here okay i'll tell you what we will be writing inside then then you write a reasons behind now here reasons behind action admin action tick then you write inside the b only reasons behind acceptance society may why it is acceptance this is also subheadings huh? all subheadings then comes b ethicality ethicality of actions okay first is ramesh and second is administration okay so basically here ethicality of administration action like that will then ethicality of Ramesh's action. Then comes. Okay, first of all, whose action do you agree and why? So then you have to write my agreement or I agree, and then you write justification. Now there will be little bit here and there. Maybe this will go here and. Subsequently, this will go till here. It depends on the length of the answer, how many points you are going to write. But this much, your answer should, in this particular format, you can have different uh, wordings, innovative wordings, but the point is your A and B should be answered properly. Okay. Now, in the case, what you have to write is facts of the case. What exactly is very briefly in one or two or three lines you can mention what are the facts. Then here my roles and responsibility won't work because I am not part of the situation. So that part won't be there. Then basically again ethicality is also kind of taken care later on. Okay, so again that should not be repeated. So basically the facts of the situation, okay, and overall stakeholders. Now these are not subheading. This is not subheading. These are the points you will be covering under this topic, under this subheading. So you can cover it point wise, like point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. It depends upon how you want to write it. Like for example. The case is the subheading. Then you write, what do you write? The protesters, though, uh, like Ramesh, for example, Ramesh as a protester, though with a good intention, started the protest, but because it went out of his hand, created huge damage to the public property. And he must take the responsibility of it. Okay. 
on the other hand police showing lack of emotional intelligence jumped into the conclusions and uh, trying for some revengeful actions or actions as if they are the one who punish people and not the courts so police cannot punish people it is court who punish people so that is another thing and third that there has been acceptance among the society because sometimes tit for tat is considered to be or instant justice is considered to be a source of instant relief also for many so that is wrong you should not support it right now comes the issue reasons behind this actions now what do you think are the reasons behind the action so first and foremost is lack of emotional intelligence okay second just okay going by letter of the law law and neglecting spirit of the law spirit of the law okay in some you know legal uh, loopholes you are trying to catch someone to uh, so vent out your vengeance ek tarike se right then this this another reason the maibap culture or master slave mindset of administration so master mindset of administration means they still think that they are the masters and not the servant of the public so in that the case they say the sense of ownership is there okay reasons behind acceptance because as i say people or uh you know people or what we can say mob or uh, herd mentality you can mention here because it's a negative thing leads to vengeance or leads to acceptance of vengeance acceptance of vengeance as tool it should not be there but generally vengeance is accepted as a tool to deliver justice okay so then sometimes punish this understanding is that punishment always work so this is also understanding punishment as in strict punishment always work obviously lack of ei here also and lack of sense of proportionality okay then acceptance for tit for tat i for an i tit for tat ki jagah you can write i for an i these are the reasons because because of which there is sense of acceptance now ethicality of administrative action ethical you can write simple and unethical ethical because unethical because now ethical is yes point is somewhere they are trying to also save public property that is okay what second is lacks emotional intelligence lacks integrity lacks compassion lacks dutifulness or law abidingness okay many points i am just telling you some points where you can write but most important thing that you should focus is how this flow of the structure goes the moment you have these things like anchors like milestones then it's very easy for you to fill things here and your answer becomes holistic which covers many points okay because 
covering maximum number of point is the most important. Ethicality of Ramesh's action, first of all, he is well intentioned. So, again, here also you can write ethicality, ethical because, and here unethical because. Right? So, why it is ethical? Ramesh's action, ethicality because it was well intentioned, it was selfless also. Unethical because loss to public property, illegal construction, right? Then my agreement. They are they are asking as to what what action do you agree with? Okay. So obviously, first of all, all the unethical actions you disagree with. Though it is of Ramesh or that of administration. So, you do not agree to this, but especially you do not agree to this administration's action against Ramesh or Ramesh's house. Why? Because this is disproportionate, family members are suffering. Third is not according to the procedure, okay, while it's compassion, okay, then may further enrage the protesters. You never know, it, it may, may go out of, completely out of hand. What happened in Kisan Andolan Delhi? You know, try to kind of curb it with force, it goes out of hand. Okay, it becomes much more problematic. So that's, and then that's all. So all the answers that are being, uh, questions that have been asked, you answered. Okay. Any, any doubt here? Are you able to understand what I'm trying to say? Is it making sense to you? Basically, what I want to ask is, is it making, making sense to you, Mrugaja? Okay, so see the point is what I am trying to say is now we might think that no, no. Now it took around 30 minutes for us. Less than 30 minutes. Yeah, less than 30 minutes for to discuss in detail everything. Just imagine less than 30 minutes. Around 20, uh, around 25 uh, minutes for example, 25 to 26 minutes we discuss this case study. 25 only. So if we can discuss so much details while explaining you in 25 minutes, we can finish it. Don't you think it will be very easy for you to finish in 14 minutes? Very easy. Only thing is, first step is to briefly have picture in mind. This structure you should have, the case, then you write facts and things like that. Then you have subheadings properly designed according to what is being asked. And then automatically you will, and the dimensions that you are talking about, once you have separate things okay already what happens you automatically get kind of forced to think in a different direction because you have to write some other other thing in each and every dimension so automatically your answer becomes if somebody else reads your answer automatically it becomes very uh, you know kind of it becomes very easy for you to cover many things so have you mrigaja have you uploaded the test test number 3 on portal why i am asking because i could not see it oh no that's why that's why anyway if you have written that's okay good but upload so that if there are any improvements i can suggest then let's see the next question Now, question is, there are, there were around 1.5 million, means 15 lakh, right, gun-related deaths in USA between 1968 to 
2070 right that's actually higher than number of soldiers killed in every us conflict since american war for independence jitne log pure ye sach story ye koi case study nahi it's a true thing okay in the sense koi imagined case study nahi hai real matlab ekdam real hai as it is hai now factual hai now independence in 2020 alone more than 45000 americans died in the gun related deaths just imagine 45000 died in gun related uh, deaths on the other hand in india we see negligible gun violence considering the size of population and diversity yes we don't see gun violence so easily there are hardly any mass shootings though communal tensions are frequent occurrences communal tensions are a frequent occurrence but we don't see the uh, gun that is you know very uh, faster instrument to kill someone so we don't find that much in india now this is what they have seen what they have put in is america mein ye hota hai this is what happens in america usa that is it's very high on gun related deaths whereas in india it's not the case as compared to what america is and now after this the question will follow what is the question what do you think are the reasons for less gun violence in india what do you think india mein kyun aapke hisab se dekha jaye to kyun kam hai half of the answer they are only giving how far is the strict gun control laws are responsible for this so basically what they are saying is wo khud hi thoda answer dene ki koshish kar raha hai ki what is is this the reason that because there are gun laws that's the reason so then give a comparative analysis of indian and american society from a perspective of ethics and values this is very important so what they are trying to indicate that is maybe because some ethical perspective that indians have towards life and other things which also makes it makes it possible that we have less gun related deaths and things like that you need to understand one thing there was this is also coming from the current affairs thing where when us had publicly you know to just condemn india recently hardly one month back one and one and one half month back they had said that you know we are keeping eye on the minority issues and communal issues and minority rights issues that are happening in india we are keeping a keen eye that you know india should be careful okay in next to i think second day or next to uh, third day someone from our side i think ajit uh, you know rajnath singh himself commented that we are keeping eye on gun related deaths in us and you should control it you should do you know you should do something about it so that was taken very uh, taken with a surprise by us that you know india is asserting itself like anything okay and many actually uh, kind of lauded this uh, stance that india had that you should mind their own business let us mind our own business we are democracy okay so you have problems in your own country so don't compare your country with us so in that context it was in international relation context it is considered to be a kind of assertive thing anyway so that's why the question is regarding the control laws the debate in the usa oscillates between the right to be a arms basically i have a right to have arms the and the safety of the society which one do you support and why so my right to have आर्म्स बियर आर्म्स मतलब मेरा गन रखने का जो अधिकार अधिकार है उसका हनन होता है एंड अदर थिंग इज इफ दैट इज अलाउड वेन वॉट हैपन्स प्रॉब्लम हैपन्स दैट सोसाइटी का सेफ्टी में इश्यू होता है दिस इज वॉट दे हैव टू डिस्कस ओके यू अंडरस्टूड द केस स्टडी सो अगेन हाउ वुड यू राइट इट दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग एवरी केस स्टडी मीन्स यू विल हैव टू फिल योर फोर पेजेस the four pages will be filled according to your 
structure and knowledge and content and perspectives and things like that. But make sure that none of the important points that you actually should be writing are missed. Right? Now, again, what happens? Here, this is more like a GS question. So, what do you do? Again, the case. So, here, briefly, you mention about the case that is, what is what and what is actually happening and things like that. First, you mention about that. Then comes what? Question part of question part A. What does this see? say? What do you think are the reasons for gun violence, less gun violence in India? How far is it? Is the strict control laws a factor in this regard? Okay. So basically, reasons behind reasons behind less deaths in India. Okay. So this is the another subheading under the name A. Okay. Then to some extent as a sub point what would you write? How far strict gun control is the factor? So strict gun control a factor. Strict gun control a factor. Then comes comparative analysis of Indian and American society as a perspective of ethics. So then comes B, comparative analysis, subheading, and straight away you can write this, no issues at all, American society and Indian society. This many points will be covered here. Right. This is from ethics and this thing point of view, they already given, but then they will understand once you are written. Then comes C. What is the question? Regarding the gun control, the debate in uh, authority between USA, uh, between the right to bear arms and the state, which do you support? So now comes. Right versus safety. Okay, here you mention about that particular thing briefly, and then as they have in this thing, what do you support? I support is another subheading, and then you write points. Right now, what would be the points? First of all, the case. Now, case says basically the number and all that's okay. What the case says is basically there have been huge or disproportionately high. Okay. Disproportionately high gun deaths in a developed and so called progressive nation of USA developed in the sense materially and otherwise it's a superpower so superpower ke ghar mein hota hai, you have to mention somewhere this okay because you have to you are just summarizing it whereas in India whereas in India it is substantially less okay now this is what the case is Briefly, that's what is the issue in front of you. Now, what is the reason behind this less deaths in India? Number one, number two, number three. What all the reasons? First, okay, gun control, legal provisions. So, but do one thing. You don't write 
first pen control as the first point you write issue of non violence and you here you write more three four points under the name of non violence non violence is not a subheading just write non violence underlining it and then talk about buddha and vardhaman they talk about gandhi talk about india's independence movement talk about overall india's cultural heritage even in the rural areas when there is a utmost poverty also people are still living with in some kind of harmony some kind of system then comes what okay the uh, this non violence the perspective that we have okay then comes constitution of india okay especially talk about fundamental duties so duty may you know public property and environment degradation and others respect to others and freedom fighters and things like that so that spirit is taking forward this is also reasons why it is not happening then comes okay collectivistic versus individualistic so still in india life is more collectivistic in nature not individualistic in nature so people are trying to or people are wishing to take other people along them so there is still not you know the what we can say the aspect that competition creates competition but rather the as the aspect that is there creates cooperation so still a lot of cooperation happens so there is no violence but then comes the most important thing after these three four points gun control okay certainly point is here yes certainly gun control has helped legal provisions and effective implementation all have helped okay because then what happens you need to understand one thing something which is legal for long time has a different impact on the psyche of the society so it is just not legal the legality comes into picture only because people are ready to accept it and people will be ready to accept it only when the people's morality is kind of mature enough which is the case with india right then value system may there is a difference one is for example individualistic it is still collectivistic okay this is transactional approach towards life this is compassionate and cooperation aspect okay then uh very materialistic materialism here still religion has hold you need to understand one thing religion plays a important role here okay or society is still closely knit closely knit and overall violence that we already talk about violence and non violence debate is still applicable in india's case you know now right to uh, bear arms and safety so the argument here is here also what you can do is you can write like this right to bear and safety okay uh, personal safety is the supporting point here okay then criminal attacks okay a defense purpose but i support indian model obviously because what happens is we have tried as we support indian model that we have to have less and less this thing because like for example as a uh, world also we are trying for less and more and more disarmament why disarmament because disarmament means there is a still chances of agreement there is still chances of collaboration there is still chances of social contract so this shows that there is still chances and still possibility of 
सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कि भाई आप भी गन इस्तेमाल नहीं करेंगे मैं भी नहीं करूंगा सो इट इज दैट्स हाउ एथिक्स वर्क राइट सो मोर एथिकलिटी इट विल ब्रिंग इन ओके मोर ट्रस्ट ऑन जुडिशियल सिस्टम बिकॉज समटाइम्स समटाइम्स पीपल यूज गन so that they want to give punishment themselves they want to do deliver justice themselves here don't take any uh, with respect to the support don't take any stand on with respect to american because ethics paper there is no point in supporting uh, presence of gun or allowance of guns with the people no point in supporting that you also please don't support that state of usa this is why i support indian thing is good and that's how we have to go and in fact we should do more and more awareness that individuals in normal society should not be resorting to violence at all violence is the only prerogative of the state that to with a proper due procedure and the court uh, kind of uh, having uh, overarching observation and monitoring on it okay and especially not within poss if possible to the extent possible arms should not be used within the premises of the society or internally basically yes for enemy for uh, wars for soldiers for terrorists that arms can be used so the stricter gun control is a good thing in india and one should not uh, you know as a indian we want more curbs rather on the allowing guns to go to the every each and every hand so the basic re basic reason you you think now whatever situation we have do we have any pressing reason to allow more and more guns to more and more people in fact we should be giving less and less guns now okay unless you are a police officer and that to licensed gun who you might be anybody but you still not be uh, allowed to give any uh, carry any gun okay and there will be there should be stricter control on or local manufacturing illegal manufacturing of the gun that also should be uh, kind of uh, discouraged for that there should be proper employment generation so automatically youth going for these kind of jobs jaise mirzapur mein dikhaya hai ya us type ke movies mein dikhta hai log discourage ho jayenge because that is also dangerous in itself and main thing is the lobby this is arm production lobby which is very very strong in america they are very powerful they have a lot of money so what they do is they bribe the politicians and uh, ask the politicians to have this this policy or that policy okay they use that money for uh, their kind of image laundering also that as if you know everything is fine with guns that should be stopped okay so that's all for this day, case any question if you have please ask let's go to the next now this is like a for, you know jada complex nahi hai straight forward hai you are the finance secretary of the state of india you have a reputation of being an honest and upright officer who follows absolute political neutrality you also enjoy the confidence of the chief minister and are in line with chief secretary in line to be the chief secretary of the state so basically sab badhiya hai aap jo hai adhikari bhi acche hain you are a very good officer and everything is good and you perhaps would be uh, having good equation with chief minister so perhaps you will be uh, kind of getting a lot of chance to get into this system that is be, sorry being a chief secretary now the chief minister in his election manifesto had promised to implement the complete prohibition daru bandi okay in this state in case he comes in power now that he is in power there is a pressure on him to implement the policy since the local elections are coming nearer so he had kind of claimed in the election that he will implement that okay and now the time has come because he is in power and now election is there it is nearer so he has to implement whatever he has promised now you are very well aware of the negative fiscal implications of the decision because you are finance secretary now the state is in revenue deficit and duty on liquor comprises a significant part of the state revenues basically because it's directly impacts your welfare schemes also later on so you are already in deficit and you know the substantial part is coming from it so you are letting go the substantial part which is a 
a big problem that is going to be created. Now, in the previous administration during the press conference, you had publicly termed such an idea as suicidal for the state. So, basically in public meeting, previous government, you have kind of submitted report or commented basically that it is suicidal because you are letting go, government is letting go their own revenue when they themselves are revenue starved. Which is, and here you need to understand one thing. Here you, you cannot, you, you are the finance security, you are the person who is doing everything. So you cannot judge, you cannot doubt your own judgments that you have come to uh, till now. So, you know, you have to go with whatever you are saying is exactly the truth is. Otherwise, what happens? If you kind of doubt your own things that are given in the case study, what it amounts to is, basically what you are saying is, even if something is very much convinced, I am very much convinced about something, still I will not take that decision because political bosses are telling me, asking me to do something else, which will not be considered good. Now, the government is now wants to implement its election promise, obviously. Uh, give your given your reputation and efficiency, the chief minister has made you the head of the committee responsible for implementing the policy. Now, you are the one who is given this uh, responsibility to head the committee. Ki jao implement kuro and prohibition kardo. Now, the problem here is, as we already discussed, you do not agree to this policy because huge revenue deficit and other things. Okay. So, what would you do? What are the issues that are there in your mind? Discuss various dilemmas being faced by you in the given scenario. What are the dilemmas that you face in the given scenario? Would declining the post of head committee responsible for implementing be a suitable option? Why and why not? Basically, you know, you say that because it, there is a conflict of interest, uh, you know, I am completely against it. Take, let me take out of it because I will not be able to implement it. That is also one way. Now, explain various options available to you and the most suitable course of action for this particular option. Right? Now, again, we will have what? Four pages. Okay. Then what happens in this? Now, this is proper case study, case study, wala case. So, what you do? Same cheese. You write the case details. You can mention case details. You can mention brief of the case. You can mention case summary, whichever way you want to mention. Okay. Then comes point number A that is dilemmas. Okay, then point number B is about declining the post. Now, in the declining the post, straight away you can write like this it is suitable as they have asked or not suitable. The point will be covering as to what, why it is suitable or why it is not suitable. Okay, then they are asking what would you do and why? Okay, so declining the post, suitable, not suitable, then you write your answer here. Like for example, my answer will be not suitable. So you write why not suitable. Here somewhere you mention that I will not decline or not decline will be the right choice for me at this particular moment. Then comes why not suitable. Then you mention as to what are the merits to it. One, two, three, whatever merits of this particular decision. 
and third is what options do you have okay so basically one of one first option is as you already discussed decline second is continue as and continue as per cm and c is continue but register descent continue but descent now in this case you will choose option 3 okay and then you write the why you choose the option 3 option 3 justification point number 1 to 3 that's all this is what the answer will be having right now in the case what all you write again what are the facts again this is not subheading i'm just telling what all points it will be covering now here what's important is what is your role and what is your responsibility now what is role means what all you can do okay your maximum that you can do your role that is defined what work should you be doing that's what you will be mentioning here and then second responsibilities means to what till what, what extent you can go how much is under your prerogative okay so basically what is sorry uh, how much is under your prerogative means it's your role now this much you can do this more than that you cannot do responsibility means what is your responsibility with respect to this like you should be doing it you cannot run away from it you cannot take you cannot choose not to do anything about it so you have a responsibility towards people and things like that. then comes what are the challenges to do the responsibility to implement the responsibility and challenges with respect to stakeholders like <clears throat> generally all the challenges are nothing but or the impacts on the stakeholders if it is too much big negative impact on the stakeholder it becomes a challenge how to reduce the impact of that that becomes another challenge right and then then comes in this context what are the ethical values see you what you need to do is this part needs a practice okay to write it point wise to write it like a paragraph don't write many subheadings it doesn't look good it doesn't look like a proper answer it looks like you're enlisting something one after the other what you do is write as a point one two three or maybe as a paragraph and then underline some uh, kind of words that's all but what happens because of this is what happens is your you briefly you mention things about the case and it helps you to think then comes your automatically the structure gets formulated for you the moment structure gets formulated on the rough paper, there is always a rough paper given. Then you mention many points. Now, what is dilemma in front of you? Basically, intellectual integrity versus administrative administrative responsibility. or to some extent following the orders of the senior also can be the other side but intellectual integrity why because you clearly know intellectually you have come up with the conclusion that this is going to be a problematic thing then obviously if you don't follow it you are actually lacking intellectual integrity for some other reason you are not following whatever you think is right for the people and other things Okay, in the here stakeholders, people at large also should be mentioned. Why? Because it's about prohibition. It's a sensitive issue. So allowing it or not prohib allowing prohibition to happen, also going to increase the consumption of the liquor. That is going to create health issues. That is going to create a kind of burden on the public health because poor will have many more problems with respect to consumption of liquor and 
things like that right so mention about intellectual integrity versus administrative responsibility as to what exactly dilemma this is exactly the dilemma that i am having in front of me now what should be done in this particular case now declining the post is suitable in what way it is suitable number one avoid conflict of interest avoid conflict of interest to nahi bol sakte avoid cognitive dissonance basically what you avoid is cognitive avoid cognitive dissonance so here avoid cognitive dissonance why because then you know something is wrong and still you are kind of forced to do it so it's better to avoid it. that is the one, one way you decline it okay then sending a strong message that is also a positive thing so what happens generally new person will be much more careful about it saving the administration from future issues fiscal crunch and things like that okay now why it is not suitable because it is responsibility so basically running away from responsibility okay then the one who replaces for sure will go against and that will be a problem to the state finances later on okay so third is people at large now people at large as a beneficiary of welfare scheme will certainly be hampered because state does not have money so how would you state implement any welfare scheme for that matter so though you know kind of here see one more thing suitable because prohibition positive thing will be prohibition will bring in less consumption of liquor but then you know that is a plus point here so that's why it's suitable because if you decline somebody else will certainly implement it because anyway cm c1 cm will put someone else there then there is another not suitable means cm trust is there rapo is there your efficiency and your image is also about responsible administrator and all that will also go away so these things going negative so i will not decline is my decision now why not suitable the same point but the only thing is now you have to write from the point of view of just mention the um, ethical issues okay so courage and fortitude is compromise otherwise or here it is upheld so if i am doing it i'll do it now my contribution continues so i can still contribute and try to at least change some okay at least lessen lessen the negative impact to the extent possible to the extent possible so there is no point in running away because as long as i am inside i can do something if i go out i have no control over it because anyway cm is much more uh, having much more authority than what i have and anyway he you need to understand one more thing here what he is implementing is what he promised and perhaps because of this promise people have voted for him the very interesting thing very important thing that people have voted for him because of these things so we cannot uh kind of overrule that single person sitting thinking that what i am thinking is correct and what cm and the people in general thinking are wrong because you never know people might have voted because of this thing larger public like especially if in the case of rural places of india uh, the women folks might have uh, voted for the particular uh, person basically because they are they were expecting ki prohibition aa jayega to hum bach jayenge hamari zindagi bach jayegi theek hai so you decline continue and 
continue but descend so you will take the third option now here there will be little bit repetition but here what you do is in the justification you just trying to there is also uh, course of action also no? so not justification option 3 course of action they have not asked justification because justification is already covered here so write course of action and in course of action always try to mention whenever the option ka course of action is there there is always a point when you write 1 2 3 there is always a effort should be efforts to minimize i already told this in the lecture also effort to minimize demerits and you have to mention something here what are the demerits of the decision okay like for example you have to uh, maybe required to implement it maybe you are kind of forced to implement it but then at least try for some compromise okay lesser possible impact on finances these things these kind of things should be kind of talked about okay and long term fiscal impact is the most important thing and something is coming against it is the most problem thing is now political bosses it is like cm for example is nothing but representative of the people so it's very difficult to deny these things though it is going to be fiscally problematic be it okay kind of try for some other mechanisms that's why like try for other revenue sources option nahi hai to wo to kam se kam karenge so whenever you write option and you are required to write some option wala thing and some course of action this should be always added please i'm i'm rewriting it for your efforts to minimize demerits please always always make sure that it will be even they have not asked it let it be part of the course of action okay is this noted very very important and this you know very few people do that's why it will be advantage for us if we do it right any question please ask okay should we move to the next case okay so now this is case number 4 you are an inspecting officer in an ngo working for emancipation of people from socially most disadvantaged group in india basically you know scst or something like that tribals no or transgenders maybe as a patriarchal uh, as a practical need and also requirement of the project you have chosen some people from the same disadvantaged community as volunteers in your experience it takes time and effort to locate and train such a volunteers with a requisite leadership and social skills now these volunteers are paid some honorarium in the lieu of their services however personally you have always felt that the honorarium is very meager considering the amount of the work so pehle se hi unki salary jo hai aap soch rahe kam hai okay aapko pata hi hai so basically you are doing this and you are training people from the same community so that you know some kind of leadership building also happens and work also happens okay so some activity is going on for the people but in the same way the activity is going on for uh, through the people only okay so one day you receive a complaint that one of your volunteers is accepting small amount of money from beneficiaries upon inquiry you notice that two things firstly two things the firstly the volunteer is from very poor economic background and secondly the beneficiaries believe that such a payment as a deserved reward for his going of an extra mile in the service now list out the different options you have as inspecting officer evaluate each option according to their merits and demerits and choose the most suitable option and justify straightforward question hai uh, as far as the questions are concerned it's very straightforward 
but when it comes to writing answers there will be many things to be covered okay kaise likhenge so again now this point is your what you have to write is first the case or the details of the case whichever with the subheading then comes options okay then comes evaluation evaluation of options here what you do is okay so this is option 1 option 2 generally option 3 are there three options are this is a major part where you know you can clearly show your understanding and this is merit demerit merit demerit merit demerit you can write option 1 option 2 because you have already mentioned option 1 you name like this option 1 option 2 you have to just define it what option is option 3 right then choice a oh, my choice that would be option 3 i'll explain what why option 3 is okay and then my choice is option 3 so you write i chose option 3 number 2 the positive points like whatever uh ethical and moral things why this is part of justification <clears throat> okay and then here again to minimize the or uh, to minimize effects of minimize the effects of yeah uh, demerits then you write 1 2 3 now here minimize the effect of this thing is basically you you plan some action so that some this thing is reduced the impact is kind of reduced now what is the again same thing now now i think by now you are habitual to it first is what are the facts of the case now what is your roles and responsibilities see if you can mention point by point also no like fact of the case how do you mention number 1 you mention what fact is so on so its role is responsibility is one one nine liner okay then then in the in implementing the responsibility what are the challenges and what are the ethical values at stake okay now in the challenge there will be mention of stakeholder i already mentioned so what all what and what some stakeholder will be mentioned in the form of roles and responsibilities also but basically stakeholders is the problem when one stakeholder if you want to serve kind of satisfy and do something benefit one stakeholder the other will be compromised something like that that's why stakeholder is the one who creates the challenges okay so you can write just one two three four five like this one line for one aspect so case will be clear to you no need to repeat the case obviously okay what are the options first of all no action remove him and third is reprimand him okay now no action means what compassion you are showing okay practical consideration okay but then wrong message corruption tolerated 
okay and in future it may go further wrong everybody will start doing corruption because corruption ek tarike se okay then remove him exactly opposite to his no tolerance zero tolerance to corruption right message and things like that but here compromised compassion okay uh utopian okay then maybe discouraging to others discontinuity of the work because suddenly that you have mentioned no it takes a lot of time to train the people in that case here what you are doing somebody who is trained you are kind of somebody who is trained what you are doing is basically you are removing him so obviously there will be a problem and then third is reprimand then what happens again reprimand merits are basically both the merits combined but still there is like still strong enough message is not sent negative to hai hi na iske bhi strong enough message is not sent it might take it might be time consuming okay it's like no zero tolerance there is a tolerance no to corruption so these thing, things go negative but it's it's okay you are ready to compromise because you are showing compassion giving chance okay practicality continuity of the work okay some sort of messaging okay now this one more one more thing that you are doing kind of three and these things uh, your choice will be choice number 3 because the similar things you just explained in a uh, broader point of view that it follows this it follows that and here the demerits also can be reduced number 1 increase salary now increase salary as in you will not increase but at least send some report some information to the seniors have dialogue with the concerned person if some financial problem temporary financial problem you can personally help that is also possible if you can or i can okay maybe if he needs some 10 20000 i can help him because there is a trust and point is you need to understand one thing he is a good person as long as the work is concerned so he is a efficient worker so we cannot lose him right you know here because you have to mention maintain the work culture also continuity of the work also now generally this happens that what you are writing in merit would be here but here what you do is in justification it should be more ethical terms ethical terms should be used more so if it is repeating more don't expand much you just write this much that will be enough why you chose option 3 generally because of these merits only you chose option 3 okay what you can write is generally what you would actually do in addition to the option 3 like this to minimize this effort so there will be only two three points because you already cover here merits why you chose option 3 and then you can put these things here so maybe your answer will be this much somewhere here it will be over which is okay okay see this is the thing if you practice more you can play with the answer sheet and it will be very comfortable for you to write answers and it's very very possible only thing is you have to practice a lot and that too on regular basis right 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 every day right 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 okay let's go to the next question second last case study now you are senior police officer in the district which is notorious for its drug consumption so basically drug issue okay so it's a problematic issue for the youth and other it's a long term impact also obviously assumed you have made detailed arrangements within your jurisdiction to check all the cases of drug smuggling into district okay for this purpose you have also involved private individuals doing petty jobs to tip off your department in the case of consignment is smuggled to be ferry 
ferry services. Now, one day, one of your secret informants who works for a ferry service company owned by Mr. K calls you and tells you about the consignment. So, obviously, now he is your informant, you are SP. So, you are in police department. So, obviously, not SP, you are a pol senior police officer, whatever way it is. Now, point is, your informants are there, obviously, because that's how you practically work. You cannot say that, no, no, it's not ethical to keep informants. You cannot but do this. You are, there is no option but to have them because they are trusted ones. Now, that will be shipped a very late via a very late in the night. You alert your department and conduct a raid on the ferry. But you discover that it was carrying only domestic goods and no drugs were found on the boat. Now, this is the problem. Now, you call your informant and he tells you that Mr. K had some prior information about the raid, okay, uh, having the information of raid beforehand and he cancelled the shipping of drugs at the last moment. Suspecting an informant within his team, Mr. K cries foul to the MLA and CM. Now, this is the tricky point as to why Mr. K or in what way, in what capacity Mr. K has the, uh, you know, ability and in what way he has got the chance to talk to uh, CM or MLA. So, there is some problem here of the state. Okay, M MLA and the CM of the state, grieving that his uh, reputation had suffered a blow as the event caught substantial media coverage, he started pressurizing the CM to conduct an inquiry into the false red so can get hold of the secret informant. Now, you are summoned by the CM and are asked by disclose the identity of the informant for investigation purposes. What are the main ethical issues in the case? How does integrity and probity manifest in this case? What are your options? Discuss their merits and demerits. And obviously choose one of the options is obvious after that. Right? Now, what is the case here basically? The most important thing is, as we already discussed, what is the case that is fact of the case or whatever you want to name it? What is the case? Hmm. So, the first important thing that you should be talking about is the case. First, having the structure, you know, you might have realized that. First, I have the structure. I am not going to write it. In the, you, I am not suggesting that you should write first there. You can do it by pencil. Okay. First, have brainstorming. And by pencil, you can write. So that you can guide yourself as to, you know, stop. Where to stop. And where to start your new point. It helps. Okay. So, then comes point number A. Ethical issues. Okay, then comes basically integrity and probity. Hmm? Then C comes as options. Generally, whenever options comes, you can always use this. Option 1. You mention whatever is the option here and here merit, demerit. Then comes option 2, same thing. Then you write merit, demerit. It won't take full page, but yeah, option 3, again you write merit and demerit. This is like what are the options, merits and demerits that they are asking. But obviously, you should be writing the choice. Okay, but whenever you like I choose option 3 and whatever the reason for that and then again whenever you choose the option what you have to write efforts to reduce impact uh, efforts to minimize rather efforts to minimize demerits or you can write minimize demerits that also can be 
whichever way you can just write minimizing demerits and then write some two three actions that you'll be taking so that you can minimize those demerits right now what would you do in this case number one again you write the facts what exactly happened and who and who and all that okay then what is the role that what i can do and what i cannot do responsibilities what i must do what i must take responsibility of then challenges and then is ethical issues then see separately they have asked so what you do is you don't write ethical issues here you just take a break from here and what you do is you write ethical issues here so what are the ethical issues involved and basically integrity and probability is also one of the ethical issues only okay the first is uh, law abidingness okay or another another word for this is due procedure so if your uh, senior is saying you cannot say no due procedure then comes issue okay basically uh, this promise to informants or informants trust basically trust versus order instruction seniors instruction then okay conscience versus uh, professional duty or professional obligation we should write conscience versus professional obligation these are coming into conflict with one another then perhaps as the continuation of this now this is you have to mention in one line what the message here is i am just mentioning this you know the message that law abiding is the now if when senior asks you it's my responsibility to be abide by the law and the procedure being the junior officer so obviously mla mp says then there is a public representative you have to do something about it so that is also one thing okay now integrity versus probity now here integrity means basically same thing trust of informants but second integrity what defines integrity here or you can do one thing again because they have put one again the other why don't you write like this integrity and probity then safety of basically safety of informant trust of informant okay now this informants are very important in the long term availability of informant okay overall moral of the team so it's a responsibility that you have then probity answerable answerable to cm accountable to every decision in capacity of in the official capacity okay then another thing is procedural aspect now probity means you cannot uh, you know diverge from the procedural aspects also okay now what are options do you have basically you have two options only here you no need to write third option because it's very not very complex so there are only two options one tell the name or disclose the identity basically disclose the identity and do not disclose the identity and again some points of here as to what you support what you, what is the demerit here also what is the merit and what is the demerit and choice is do not disclose now why here is because being an informant 
the personal trust is more and then utility of that person in future public duties in future like in uh, fulfilling your future public duties okay so i don't think there is any point in giving the information of informants here because again there also seem to be a issue here because the mla and others are unnecessarily having uh, pressurizing the uh, what we can say uh, pressurizing the cm and the mla that is that pressurization itself is illegal and again you have to effort reduce the effort this thing that will otherwise cooperate in investigation okay also keep an eye also monitor the very informant maybe because that informant might also might have gone wrong deliberately so to some extent because you can you know someone can break trust only when you have trust hmm so trust is like some kind of blinding of eye then only the other person can take benefit of it so some way you have to add these features so that same thing do not repeat in the future okay so communicate to cm about your inability basically and long term if ill effects if we kind of disclose the identity of informant unless informally you conclude or you kind of come to conclusion that informant was himself is involved in kind of playing some kind of a double game against you okay otherwise do not be information is the thing but that's how you efforts you minimize the efforts minimize the uh, your efforts for minimizing the demerit is also playing very important role here okay let's go for the last one the case study number 6 you are superintendent of police in the district known for caste related conflicts so wahan pe dikkat hamesha hi hoti hai maybe some up bihar wala scene hai mp bhi ho sakta hai you come across distressing news of honor killing in couple of in in a, 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 okay killing of a couple due to intercaste marriage it is alleged that the girl's parents are involved in this heinous crime the caste panchayat is said to have sanctioned and supported the act in the name of tradition and custom ओके ऑनर किलिंग है तो ये महाराष्ट्र भी हो सकता है सैराट मूवी में वही दिखा है इफ इन केस यू आर नॉट सीन प्लीज वॉच मेन एवरी गुड टाइम इट्स अ गुड मूवी नाउ वन ऑन वन हैंड द गर्ल कम्स फ्रॉम पॉलिटिकली एक्टिव फैमिली वेयर हर अंकल इज द सिटिंग एम एल एके नाउ दिस इज बींग रिपोर्टेड इन द न्यूज मीडिया दैट द लोकल पुलिस ड्यू टू दी पोलिटिकल प्रेशर इज ट्रीटिंग दिस एज एन सुसाइड केस on the other hand the boys relatives and some human rights activities activists who came in support of the victims family have now started protesting with the demand for judicial inquiry the overall handling of the case now they are demanding the transfer of some local police officers for alleged collusion with the mla and seeking appointment of a special investigation officer by high court so their procedure their aspect is their demand is very procedural and legitimate and legal okay now however the panchayat and the other officer other people of the girls village are relying behind her parents and the said mla of the area they are threatening violent protest if the girls parents are not arrested they claim that it is clear case of suicide because they had all collectively banished the boy and his family for indulging in intercaste marriages against the village traditions now there is still continuing the boycott of the boy's family which now fears threat to their life now this is the situation in front of you now point is what would you do to diffuse the boy situation so suddenly you cannot do much here in the sense 
being a sp you need to understand your responsibilities you cannot deliver justice okay police officers are not there to deliver any justice so what do you do you maintain law and order that is your job as a police officer your job is never to deliver justice that is a mistaken thing if in case you think that aap justice deliver karoge so aap galat ho because delivery of justice is the job of whom judiciary and you cannot take that thing up in your hand okay so every solution action that you are suggest will have a positive and negative impact analyze the consequences of each of your suggestions actions तो इस पे जो एक्शन लेंगे उसके पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट करना है एंड हाउ वुड यू मेक श्योर दैट सच एन इंसिडेंट डू नॉट रिकर इन योर डिस्ट्रिक्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑब्वियसली लॉन्ग टर्म सॉल्यूशंस क्या है ठीक है सो लेट अस सी वन बाय वन ओके, तो क्या है केस द केस डिटेल्स ओके एज यू ऑलरेडी नो यू मेंशन व्हाट द फैक्ट इज सॉरी दिस यू विल विल फील लेटर फर्स्ट लेट लेट्स राइट राइट द स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज इट विल हेल्प यू दैट वे देन वंस यू राइट द केस देन व्हाट वुड यू राइट नंबर बी what is sorry number a that is diffusing the volatile situation diffusing diffusing the situation okay this is another subheading then evaluation now here you will take some action okay maybe five six actions because many actions you will require to take okay then comes b that is evaluation okay evaluation of actions evaluation of actions then comes c that is systemic solution for non recurrence c systemic solution for non recurrence aisa fir se na ho isliye kya karenge like that you write okay steps also uh, you know in evaluation what you do is maybe like if you have seven points here you write seven positive and negative whatever the action you think is going to do you just write this in the same statement positive and negative there is another way of doing it what you do is you can mention here like a step 1 if you want to write concretely step 2 step 3 step 4 like that step 5 and here then what you can do is you can make table like this positive negative step 1 you write something 2 3 see in ethics no it's very um, important to have some innovative structural arrangements okay 4 5 6 like that whatever steps you will take step 6 step 7 whichever way and then you write positive negative positive negative here and then systemic solution for non acre that's all a very straight forward question in that way now let us see what points will go in here what all points you can now ha uh, yes what will write now first you'll write fact fact you know situation mla politician others okay then what is your role you know your role is law and order safety protection to life 
पनिशमेंट टू क्रिमिनल्स बेसिक राइट्स टू मैरी ऑल्सो ओके राइट मैसेजिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड देन टू सम हैव जुडिशियल प्रोसेस टू बी मेड फास्टर इन हाउ इज ऑल्सो योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज अ इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग ऑफिसर यू आर सुप्रीम पुलिस बट एज अ पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट योर जॉब इज टू काइंड ऑफ लेट द केस गेस्ट गेट्स काइंड ऑफ एडमिनिस्टर्ड एडजुडिकेटेड एज अर्ली एस पॉसिबल देन देन कम्स वॉट थ्री रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी Now, first and foremost responsibility here is the protection of life of the boy's parents, and also any law and order situation that might erupt because this ka panchayat or rather caste panchayats are involved very vigorously here. So, somewhere this is responsibility that law and order problem should not be created, and anybody else's life, and especially boy's family's life, would be kind of maintained. then comes what challenges so generally responsibility and challenges challenges as i said stakeholders so stakeholders and challenges are the similar point because as i already mentioned stakeholders are the ones who are creating who has the uh, potential to create challenges for you right then <clears throat> diffusing the situation and all okay then okay so what are the steps we will take first of all let the fir go basically go with the procedure protection the state of your protection to the family members okay deployment of some police some officers in the area okay in specific area where the issue is okay if it goes beyond it is then 144 also can be implemented for some time okay then awareness that is announcements announcement also should be done so that people are made aware that nobody should be using this for some this thing strict punishment would be given okay then officers involved should be suspended not transport suspended okay and faster investigation to 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 kind of facilitate to facilitate judiciary okay some other actions also can come into picture like strict warning to the caste panchayat for not taking law in their hands okay that you need to do because they are doing it openly so you have to openly kind of first you try to talk uh, you know talk to them but basically the way their stance is it's uh, don't seem plausible to you know have talk with them so that they will listen to what you are going to say so in that way better way is just curb them and let them know there is a problem in that particular thing whatever they are doing it's not good thing for them then comes what evaluation now every step that you are mentioning need to evaluate so evaluate means what legally you know legal requirement procedure followed okay negative like for example if you are putting some fir the negative that maybe it may anger the mla and the team law and order may be erupted now this is a practical situation more like a practical issue here because what they were saying is positive negative on the basis of consequences not ethicality obviously the question is clearly because there is like even if you are taking fir putting fir or facilitating the fir also will be creating problem then protection positive is about again you know it is like saving someone saving life compassion whatever it is you want to call it so positive in consequence negative consequences again that the other party may feel that you are taking sides okay taking sides and basically it creates further image like 
more visibility of the police on the ground clearly sends an image that there is something wrong. So more police presence is always come always comes up with this issue of uh, you know uh, getting presented as if something wrong is going on. Okay, even 144 positive means law and order maintain at this time, but normal public life is disturbed. Okay, issue may blow out of proportion and things like that. And also, maybe answer seniors might object. Why suddenly for one particular incident, why need to, why do you think uh, you need to have 144 applied? Okay, like that, whatever steps, see, this is not a concrete steps. You can have further step transfer. You know, there will be, uh, like for example, transfer or suspension of officer is positive because the case, then the investigation is very neutral. The investigation can be made fast and things like that. But then within department, there will be a, maybe moral down. There will be a vengeance from the officers. You never know. There will be clear cut, you know, segregation of the officers may uh, go to the MLA and join. Maybe they have already joined their hands with MLA, things like that. But there are positive also. Everything has a positive. Like that you mentioned, and then systemic solutions. This much you mentioned, that is okay. You take the steps, you evaluate them positive, negative. Okay. You seek guidance from uh, this thing that is also there. Now here, awareness campaign is a good option now. Long term, may you need to have awareness campaign. Okay, strict action. Boycott law, strict action against boycott. Nobody should boycott anybody. Okay, caste discrimination issues. That is prevention of atrocities. Act should be implemented thoroughly. These things, for the long term point of view. Okay, then sensitization program also should be can be carried out. Okay, sensitization programs also helps. So sensitization programs also helps towards building fraternity, equality and fraternity, equality and fraternity. Okay. And discourage caste based discrimination and things like that. Okay. So that's all. You can have, I can add many more points, whatever comes to your mind, but that's all will be the answer. So answer will be over by this line. Okay. So that's how you have to tackle case studies. First, let me brief. First, have kind of brainstorming as to try to understand what exactly has happened. Second, to answer this part, your brainstorming should happen as to what is the fact, what is my role, what is my responsibility, what are the challenges which include stakeholders and ethical issues now ethical issues not every case will have but yes most of the cases will have some ethical issues so you you no need to use these subheadings i just said that point one you just mention what the fact is point two you just what my role is see my responsibility is challenges against in, challenges in front of me uh, you know to serve the different stakeholders like name the stakeholders like that like that like that and then comes ethical the ethical issues involved in this case is this so this will be like more than enough and it will you will get a proper uh, kind of chance proper way to structure your answer i can tell you structure of case study is very very important with respect to marks because when the person the examiner is evaluating your paper certainly your content is important but how you offered how you served that content to him or her uh, makes a huge difference because one question even one question, one or two marks increase only because of the proper structured and that too, according to the demand of the question, okay, this particular thing is going to help you in a big way. So, I hope that you understood this. Any question if you have, please ask. Case study is very, very important to have, very crucial when it comes to getting maximum possible marks in ethics and you know how crucial it is to get more marks in ethics vis-a-vis getting into the service okay so thank you very much for your patient listening i hope uh, you know i wish kind of all the best to you you know you have one more test to be given that is a final test full length test whole syllabus comprehensive test that is test number four i hope you people write it and uh, after that also obviously there will be a discussion on the test number four
okay and if you are not written or submitted please write and submit it so that i can have a understanding as to what is going right and what is going wrong okay thank you very much see you in the next lecture bye bye